I've seen his picture at the post office. Tony Maloney, apparently. Tony from Public Works. Yes. Well, I'm a Bobby. She's a Bobby, and I'm a Cindy. Jordan. Yeah, Jordan. We know. We know. There we go. All right. So, we're starting with a review, but since I kind of corralled Tony into coming, I think we'll jump right to a, something for next year. Because this is where I really wanted Tony to be involved. It was just by um, a miracle, basically, that we were able to, in all inclusive, get the situation remedied down on Bay Street with the lighting. With so little time, and we had such a big problem. Yeah. And now we have to look forward to the next year. And the city really doesn't want to put a lot of investment into downtown Port Orchard in that type of infrastructure because our kind of short, long-range plans are for such a big change down here. We all we know it's pending. We're not sure what it looks like. But um, we know for our event that we need to, to get ahead of the game this year and fix some electrical um, mishaps down there um, and get the funding for it and get this in place early on. So, with all of your help, um, and I'll present to the council um, at the retreat that this is a priority to invest that much extra money for the time being, where we have an interim situation that we have to remedy. For the safety of our workers and the public and everything else, but we have a lot of, um, there's just been a lot of changes in the law and such and we're kind of going by some old things and old rules, and we don't have a lot of things up to code. What we have to find out is what we can actually do now, be legal, and prepare. Are they thinking of taking the marquee down? Uh, you know... Because if they do that, well, it sort not, of changes the whole But dynamic. not this year. So there's no plans that I know of or heard of for taking no. the marquee down this year, or even in the next year or two or three. No. So I think it's time that we um, put some money into the fix mm -hmm. because you know for chimes and lights it made such a difference. When the lights all went back on and the trees were lit and our city was lit up, I, I can't tell you how many people just I don't know, went crazy it. about it. You know we've really got a beautiful place and so anyway all that being said is we have a problem in that um, our northeast corner is not lit even now. We've got a problem. That's, uh, um, Mike said that there's something getting something wet. I mean, the water's getting something wet. Okay. And so it will not work if it's wet. And I don't know if he's had time to go down and look at it. No. Is right. And you know what? I'm not even sure if these are conditions that you could even look at it. Which corner? Yeah. I'm mixing the, no, the north side of the street, Your the water side. My side. Your side. Your side. That second half is my ballot in the back. Uh huh. <clears throat> my parking lot's full of water, so probably. Is it water. right now? Oh, yeah. Do you have a catch basin in there? Well, it's the tide. When the tide yeah, comes Yeah, well, out. we've got two king tides coming. Yeah, today and yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. the tide. Or today and tomorrow. What is the high tide today, you guys? Is it tonight? Uh, it was in the morning. In the morning like seven, was the high seven seven in the morning, yeah. But we didn't have the winds then, so we're... We no, made it plus to we haven't had the rain, so... Yeah. We'll, this we'll is actually it. kind of good. I have a feeling we'll weather these two king tides and be fine. Mm -hmm. sure. But, yeah, sorry about your water. Oh, well, that's that, okay. Are you talking about there. a light in your parking lot? No, no. Just oh. water? Standing water? No, it's just standing water. Oh, okay. The whole that's thing. You, Basically, you are out. Not kind of an island there, you know. I am. <laughs> <laughs> we know that we've got a lot of islands. An island between the library. So that box and on my building is the problem then, really? No, uh, not like necessarily the box. It's, oh, the, it's, it's the wiring it's that runs down the marquee in front of your business. In front of it. Yeah. I just left the extension cord up there. I didn't know if it was yours or mine. It's big. I it's think green. It's oh, nice. I still got to go down and grab the rest of the trees. Yeah, the so you might look at it. I, I rolled it up and put it 
Oh, that. is it just, is it hanging? No, no okay. I, put it I rolled it up. Oh, oh it buddy. Up. Well, that's okay. That's nice of you to do that. Yeah, I know that's a problem in that corner. Oh. <laughs> I know. But, it, you know, just saying that we need to push for um, some funds to really fix that. Even if it's a two or five year fix, it's something that we're expecting for this event. Um, it's part of what we've done and it, it made such a difference. I don't think there's any question um, that we should go ahead with this. We just need to find out how much it's going to cost yeah. to get it budgeted in. Yeah, we'll do a cost uh, estimate associated with doing all the conduit, the wiring, the receptacles that we're employing. Right now, if you turn on the breaker, it, it trips the breaker since we upgraded it to a GFI. Yeah. So there's discrepancies in that line somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, that'll be the first block. I mean, they all have issues. It's just that block itself is... Yeah, uh, it was dark the, yep. the last few, but yep. that's okay. You know, we had a lot of good time. I mean, you know, yes. just oh, that last four days or so, other yeah. than that. We, we got to save the day, and we had mm -hmm. the best event. It was all lit, it was. especially after we thought we had our darkest hour. <laughs> Nothing working right. Mm -hmm. So it turned around and it was beautiful. And we will be thanking you again, but thank you so much for okay. making that effort. Um, right. It was so well worth it. And we had a meeting today with the police and um, talked to, about some of the logistics and some of the things that went right and didn't go right. Um, and that's kind of what we should be sharing now about what problems we had so we can start planning ahead. This year, more than any other, there won't be a break for this committee. You know how we've taken off a lot of times. I doubt that we'll have much time to be able to take off because there's so much to take care of. And um, we kind of are advocating for the event mm -hmm. and kind of, you know, we'll have to... Um, there's just so much that needs, needs to be discussed with the pops up with the chamber, with where the laws are at now, and the legalities and how we work all of these things out, being a little town and finding out how we're not in compliance with certain codes and things. Um, and I think there's a certain amount of grace, you know, we can only afford so much and we only have so much staff, but we'll want to find out what the priorities are. And that was partially what that police meeting was this morning. <clears throat> we have to actually have more coverage now, um, policing and safety coverage than we've ever had before, including dogs sniffing out weapons, you know, things like that. Now we have to do. Wow. I know. So it's changed. The climate has changed, and, you know, an incident in Costco was kind of driving this, and public safety is so huge because there have been so many violations all around. So without putting a big damper on it, <coughs> it's finding out what we really have to do and what is down the road and all of that. Mm -hmm. um, so that's what they were talking about this morning in the police meeting is uh, how that will look different in the future. We might not just be able to park big trucks to block the way we have to have a few more barriers, figure out traffic patterns and all of that. Not to take the fun away. <laughs> so, question with the dogs. Yeah. Do they have to be kids up? Um, I think the police. Because be I do know certified dogs. Their, yeah, it's their it's road, so. Okay. Yeah, and, and I, know, you know, I know dogs that work at the airport. Yeah, and so. I think what's right now, what we heard today, is that the state patrol, just in trying to help us all yeah. with safety issues, will not be charging us okay. for that. Mm -hmm. But. And this is something that we have to discuss, and it'll be in other groups even than ours, is how much is this going to cost all of our partnering organizations downtown with the events? Um, because things are, are changing. Yeah. So, so far, at least the dogs aren't going to cost anything <laughs> extra. Um, and we'll be talking a whole lot more just in the next weeks about what events are going to cost and what will be the upfront um, applications, what they're going to look like. Bobby, as much as we can, we want to have PASA and the Chamber represented in these meetings. Well, I know and Brian Bams. will be. Yeah, she's into that. So Okay, good. Yeah, because I'll tell her for sure. we know not, 
These are big expenses. You know. Uh, so anyway, okay, let's go back to our review. Everybody's got something to say, I'm sure, about how it went for all of you. Um, public works, do you want to share some of the concerns you guys had? Well, one of them was the race. Yeah, I, mean, I think yes. our major concerns were associated with the race, uh, you know, especially being in the first year. Uh, letting the runners loose 15 minutes early wasn't really... Good. Yeah, especially, I mean, we were lucky. We, we closed the road and we set up the run, the cones early. That it actually, it worked out, but if we wouldn't have done that, then they would actually ran into a the traffic. traffic. Mm -hmm. so they would have to turn around and restart the whole race over again, which I'm sure people would be pleased about. Yeah, the intersection down there at Kentucky Fried Chicken, the cops weren't exactly in place yet, and here come the runners. The cones were set up. Yeah, there were some issues, you know, the, some of the volunteers were leaving their stations early, uh, runners were still out on the course, so people, uh, traffic was trying to get into the lane of travel with runners still there. Uh, no, on the volunteers? Yes. I know Harold Vickers up at the uh, high school? Yes. At the Armory. He's willing to bring his ROTC boys and girls down here to do that. Okay. Last year, I think somebody told me that they were the uh, troubled kids, which oh, yeah, no, um, nothing wrong with that. They just weren't disciplined enough to be at the post the whole time. Okay. So ROTC um, volunteers are going to be available? I am sure, after hearing <clears throat> the police talk today, that we can really make use of volunteers like that, mm -hmm. probably for next year, yeah. that there will be positions. Well, they've done it before. They just didn't get the call this year. Oh, really? Yeah. For the race, you mean? Mm -hmm. Okay, so one thing, let's just start about that. There will not be a Jingle Bell Run race next year. Oh. That, oh, was, well, that, so that was announced today. Um, that was confirmed but today. But there might possibly be a race. But the there are other organizations oh. interested in quitting on a race. Mm -hmm. But Jingle Bell, after Sheila left, you know, oh, no. was just kind of winding down. It was Sheila who really kept the momentum going. And... Um, Port Orchard was not on their radar until Sheila came along, and when she left, it kind of left because they never had someone who was designated just for Port Orchard. We were sharing somebody with Seattle who was overwhelmed with just Seattle business, and the lady in charge of our actual run had the run in Spokane that day, so she wasn't here. So you can see, as a result, we've never had problems like runners getting released too early or all yeah. these other things. But that's because the leadership breakdown was right. huge. So we won't be getting another Jingle Bell run, but I've already heard um, some snippets of suggestions about runs for this, that, and the other thing. So there still may be a run, but there would be a lot more local control. Yeah. So, and we would work right away with all of you and the police uh, because that's what the police were saying too. Really, most of the problems had to do with the run. Yeah. So that kind of takes a lot of it off of our plan. <coughs> Yay. Yeah, and I know there was talks also of utilizing the pathway at some point too, and getting them into lots three and four on the waterfront and utilizing the pathway, then we wouldn't have to close it from, or one way traffic from Sydney all the way to Kentucky Fried Chicken. That would be a lot less volunteers. And, Yes, uh, it was. Enforcement. So there's other options. It's just how do we go about doing them. So. But you can see why we'll need a lot of planning early on because there's a lot of changes. Um, and another thing <coughs> that's changed is that this was probably our last year for the hay rides. The tractor organization is has been um, having some internal struggles with leadership and uh, prior to this event. And things did not go too well during our event. The, the route chosen, which was for safety reasons, did not work very well for the tractors. I'm glad the you, tractor. I'm glad you knew that because I thought I was breaking bad news to you. <laughs> no. And, and actually, you know, when it was being proposed, it, it didn't sound the best from any of us who've been around. But it, it was a trial. And it was very difficult for the tractors to kind of make that turn, you That's know. what I heard. Yeah, and many other things, because there were the lines waiting for the chili, you know, the, the tractors had to really go through a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And we, you know, we kind of, we just plain did know that that was going to happen. 
<laughs> so a good idea at the time. It actually didn't. <laughs> and you know why? Um, well, for one thing, people didn't get to go down Bay Street to see the trees, which all of us thought was really important. But it was the, the traffic issue um, of combining traffic and people. And in the past, we've done it a little differently than what the new um, leadership is willing to do. So we're going to be working hard on all this stuff and finding something to replace the tractors. You know, I don't think they're completely out. They may do some kind of a show with lighted tractors, kind of a little bit like the boats or something, but they won't be giving rides kind of thing. Um, and their organization is working on lots of changes, too. Yeah. So I suggested horse and buggy rides. I was just thinking like Clydesdales and the little slave You hunting. know, I think that yeah, that could be so very <laughs> <laughs> I should have to put those bags on. <laughs> yeah, those are catch-all bags. But, you know, we're going to need something to replace that. And we already lost our movies. And so, as a committee, we're going to have to be thinking. Um, I saw an old-fashioned trolley that they had made somewhere into... It was electric, but it was cute. It was all open, like a San Francisco oh. trolley and something like that. It looked like it might not hold as many as the tractor. But it was cute. So some kind of little gizmo like that, zipping around. Yeah. Golf courts, all decorated. You know, I mean, it could be just about anything, couldn't it? Actually, you know what? That would be easier to control than live animals. Well, yeah. Wouldn't Horses. It? That, that, it can be I really mean, tricky. I don't know. I see me shoveling. <laughs> I mean, I do it, but no. You could do decorating the golf carts too. Actually, you know, like, yeah, little, little carts of some sort. Bobby, would you drive one? <laughs> that would be fun. You know what? Well, there's a will, there's a way, and we'll find something fun like that. Yeah. Um, that could be very good and a lot safer because you can stop so much faster and all of that. So that could actually work, which would be a whole lot easier, too, for pathways. Because a golf cart could actually go on some of those paths and things. And the Santa, did that work out, didn't it? The location? Or I was wish, that you know what? I wasn't there. I didn't hear. Does it, did anything hear about how the Santa I never heard any bad things. I, yeah, I only heard good things. I'm going to have that. To, I'll talk to Kathy. She had a dental appointment today, so she wasn't able to make it. But um, as to far as I know. Closer, though, I think it was a good location rather than back in by the cathedral. Actually, Don't I think that did work, work, and there were a lot yeah. of people. That's yeah. what I did here. Yeah. There were a lot of people. Well, the complaint about it being done by the gazebo was they have to walk through park, a dark parking lot. That's it. Oh, lines. mine with water? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah so, I have a feeling that that whole thing worked well, and then yeah, it worked. Yeah. Putting out their great big displays. The were wonderful. Wasn't that amazing? The lights were wonderful. And those oh, big they have such balloons. great electrical stuff. Yeah. They got, they got time, too. They have a lot of time. Yeah. And maybe and money? They, or, yeah. I, don't know. I don't know about that. Anyway, it was beautiful, wasn't it? Yeah. Gorgeous. So uh, I'll get feedback from Kathleen about how well that went. I know all the choirs and everything went well. You know, that was... Yeah. Um, and next year we have to work on lighting for the front. Um, do we need more money to get spotlights or something for the front? For the for the city hall. Oh, the city hall. Um, do we need more of that? You know, I bought a bunch not a bunch of lights, but I bought some lights this year. Yeah. And the ones that I had last year, I would run into where a string half the string was burnt out. So. When I took them down this year, I'm, I put them in a separate pile. I'm going to test all those when I get a chance. But I doubt if I can get them to work, and so we we'll probably will. So we're going to need a budget for more string lights, right, Bill? Yeah. Can you kind of uh, come yeah. up with what you think you're going to need? Okay. Um, Tony, do you know if there's anything that we're going to need to budget for trying to lights? Well, other than the lights, will we be able to use... The lights from this year, the oh, yeah. icicle. The icicle lights should, well, should be there. Yeah, because yeah. those are all LEDs. I'm sure right. by next year there'll be some strings that here and there that need some new uh, bulbs or something, but that should be fine. 
I've heard they last, right? They yeah, they're all LED, LED so hopefully, I guess we'll, at least once two we years. unpackage them next year, we'll, we'll see when we plug them in. And we'll, ha we'll have all the cords, because you guys bought cords this year. Oh, we got plenty of cords, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. and, okay, about trees again. Did that, did that work well for you guys, getting the trees, getting them in place? Is there anything we would need to do differently? No. I you know they sold the one tree, took it right out of the pot by the candy store. That's what I heard. Yeah. Who did? Well, we don't know who did. I mean, but someone they, just lifted the whole tree? They they attached it to their car, I think, <gasps> and just pulled it out because the dirt was all out. That's the only one, though. Is that the one that won the award? No, 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 no. This was, no. Okay. No, the awards <laughs> weren't given out yet. <laughs> okay. No, none of the others were. And it wasn't a pretty tree. That, I mean, it was okay. It yeah. was aliens. So I just, I just tell them the Did aliens took it. Took the it. Oh. <laughs> the Maybe it was the aliens. The aliens took <laughs> it. Never mind. It was at the candy shop. So okay. it was, so, oh. was that the Seroptimus tree? No. It, I bought that tree for the candy shop. Oh, Wouldn't they take my tree? And, and it was the alien tree. <laughs> okay, the yeah. alien. And she she decorated it. I just and that was in the black and the yellow. No, that was green. Okay, all green. All aliens, green. aliens, truly. All green. <laughs> aliens. Well, you know that. I didn't want to tell you. I thought you'd be. It, is it may be floating around right. there somewhere. <laughs> Okay. But no decorations. I, no one complained about. Did you about anyone stealing the other decorations? No. Well, uh, yes. Do you know which one? Do you know it really got stolen with the hats? Mm -hmm. People used hats for the top of the trees, and it was right about that time, several days later, that we got that cold spell, and those hats disappeared. And when the judges were down there the day of the judging, you know, we made progress all along the street and coming back up the other side and this lady came by and she didn't have that much on and she went well hello I gotta tell you something <laughs> and she went on to say see that <laughs> and socks oh God. those that tree over there has socks <laughs> and it was she had she was dressed with some things from the tree and that was the football team tree, mm -hmm. and they had put things on the tree to be given away. I, I love, love that. that. Yeah, and I, I didn't even know that about story. that until we were doing the judging thing, and I saw that, and a lot of the stuff was gone. And then read the sign, and you go, oh. And then that very same, during that very same span of time, we were coming up there, and that woman actually had stuff on from the tree, and she go. Now they got the right idea, and off she went, you know, <laughs> to probably go get some beef jerky off the tree. And, like but it was like, yeah, that's true. it was so fun to actually see. And you know, I said maybe in the future we have to forewarn people if you don't want things to go away, probably don't put things on that they might want to just get warm by, yeah. you know. On the other hand, I thought it was a really cool idea mm -hmm. to have giving trees. That people that. could take that because that is a neat idea. Children's mm -hmm. Hospital had band aids and all sorts of things for them to take. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That see, that's, they, that's they way cool. cool. <coughs> yeah, they took um, all sorts of things. Kids stuff for kids. Yeah. Children's Hospital. Well, the trees are beautiful. Yeah. We need to do it again. And um, I wonder how soon we should open it up. I, I think anytime you guys are ready to handle. Uh, people reserving the place for the tree, we should do it, get it going again. And we still have 58 planters, right? They didn't haul away the No, they did not take the <laughs> That would be hard. So we have a 58 not planters. Impossible, though. Four of which don't have any power that we know of. Those still ones. looked all right, though. Mm -hmm. I know, I liked them. There were some really good ideas. The ones Definitely. out here by the poles that were, those turned out really good. Yeah, I agree. Pretty. Pretty. Mm -hmm. So um, maybe you could talk to that same, was that Alpine? Mm -hmm. yeah. Talk to Alpine about getting those reserved. Okay. And see if there would be a price difference because we'll need to get a price on them. It would be great if we could keep the same price going. Um, we actually ended up getting 63 trees because they put three down here. Right. That's That covered the cost. See, we were, 
you can see we were actually charging really close to actual cost. We got a bit of a break, so we were able to pick up three additional trees to decorate with. Uh, but that's not a lot of extra money, so you could see we really needed to sell every tree. Um, and we did. And we could have sold more. Janine, there was a, a couple that wanted to buy multiple trees oh, yeah. and we didn't have them left, did we? Yep. Mm -hmm. There was probably 10 or more people who came in after the fact and asked about trees and, you know, so we could do a waiting list if anybody, you know, backed out, but, yeah, there was quite a few. So we had the requirement of LEDs, right? Yes, we always did. That out. We always did. Yeah. And then did we want to look into possibly having them decorate them from the bottom up? That way no, the, the pigtails at the top. Yeah, the cord that would be at the top. closest to the electrical outlets. Yeah, I think a lot of people did. You don't there really see it. And that way they ran it up. Oh. Yeah, the, the, the cord would run down the run mm -hmm. down and it was a... Yes. Hazard. Okay, Janine, I'll put that wording in there <coughs> as part of our right. application. I don't think I did it right. I don't think I did it right. It's just easier. It's just something that we just thought of this. Well, yeah. and you know what? Anything we can do to make that work. This is only our second year, so there's yes, going to be a few yeah. bugs. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it went awfully well for just being the second year, and you did a fabulous <coughs> job. And I, I just can't tell you how much feedback we got. It, from people from other towns were saying that this is right. beautiful and loved it, and I would love to be able to do it in more places in Port Orchard in the future. But I think we kind of have to get this squared away first, um, the downtown area. But oh, and I love seeing the lights on the Rockwell Park trees. That's cool. Could we put some lights on the new Tremont Quarter in in the roundabouts or in the the trees along the way? Do we have the wherewithal to be able to do that? I believe we do have power. We're just talking money as far as buying new lights. How oh. much you want to do? I would just just the the roundabouts. So just the roundabouts, not the trees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I know that's yeah. getting to the point of. <clears throat> In the future, yeah. we have yeah. more staff. Okay, but can we get an idea of what it would cost maybe to light up the two roundabouts with some Christmas lights? Or um, would it be easier to put in um, one of those standing things like our Santa, the lighted shape thing? I don't know what those cost. No. Like they had at the board. Mm -hmm. We yeah. have Santa here. We have Santa. Yeah. And I don't know what those decorations oh, they, are. And they light up, that, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we've had that Santa Claus for, for quite a while. Over 15 years. I think. Did you ever have to change the lights on on it? Once in a while. Not that, while it's standing up. That but might be a good right investment, there. though, if we had something like that to put in each of those roundabouts rather than a lot of little lights, which would save labor. Yeah, right. So in the long run, that might be a better investment. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. A freestanding thing. So it would be to price them yeah. out for yes. the meeting? Yes, yes, yes. Because yes. I have like temple displays. I yes. have a couple different Christmas light vendors that send me notifications and brochures so throughout the year. freestanding, nice bright colored lights, um, yeah. easy yeah. to take down and put up. Are you looking for like a Santa, Christmas tree, snowflakes, well, so Christmas... Well, thing I remember mm -hmm. with those, though, since it's not at a facility in the middle of the night, oh. kids will go and steal that thing. They'll grab it and they'll throw it in the back. Or they'll, of the push, truck. Or they'll push it over. Yeah. So okay. vandalism with that type of you're going to have to Okay, that's so. our that's our problem. Yeah. So it would need to be lights decorated and higher up and trees or something? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I'm talking about like a Santa. Yeah, yeah. Like so what should we think so, of for those then? Desirable. What do you think is better? What is in there now? Is it something you can light up? You know, you know the pretty trees in our new roundabouts? I don't drive. So oh, I'm, very I'm sorry. I'm going to take you for well, you a ride. Walk. You walk, don't you? I do walk. Yeah, but I think she's talking about the that. Fremont Quarter. I'd right. say the first year we so try the lights <laughs> and see how that reacts with okay. everybody as far as if they try and steal them or not. Yep. I was actually concerned about Rockwell Park when I kept seeing lights out yeah. or disappear. I thought maybe they were being stolen. That was a yeah. moisture problem. Then I found out. And how do we correct that, you guys? The, the, the guys I had put the plug them in and put them up for me didn't take the ends. Oh. So I went down and 
clean out all of them. I see. Yeah. Electrical tape on yeah. the ends of it. Ash, I do duct tape around my oh. house is lit with those little beds yeah. all the time. Yeah, I, that makes a big difference. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, <clears throat> see, this is what's so good. It's just the feedback. But let's try getting some lights um, spreading the dry a little bit to other parts of town. I don't think this would be a bad thing. Um, and, and not lots and lots, but just get started on that so we can build. Yeah. And then I can take it to the council and ask maybe for some funds. We'll see how we can do that. Okay, so other than um, <coughs> other than the run and um, what other concerns? The trees. We'll get started with the trees then soon. Bill, if you could price the trees to find out what we need to charge, then what we'll do is get our application updated. Um, and allow people to reserve the trees early like we did last time. They wanted to reserve. But um, we could have them start paying earlier. Mm -hmm. um, it wouldn't hurt. We said last time September 9th, I think. Yes. Yeah. And let's just go ahead and collect monies sooner if that's something you can manage. Your department. department. Okay. Yeah. We can do that. Um, I think we won't have a problem selling all of our 58 trees. No, no you can sign me up for 42 right now. <laughs> 42 <laughs> trees, Bobby? <laughs> 42. <laughs> I did get the point, you know, to do one. Uh, uh, yes. I know. I know. Uh, I saw it does help to be the best friend of uh, the managers. That's mother. it. That's it. <laughs> You've got influence in the room here. <laughs> well, there were sponsors that just surprised me. I didn't know how they found out about it or anything. Well, Children's Hospital next year, they've already asked me for two. So oh, really? They want to do one relay for relay for life or le relay for whatever. It's probably relay for life. Do the purple and the uh -huh. yeah, so cool. Have two of them. That's wow. an April one. Yeah, but they're, they want the tree. <laughs> we'll I guess they don't know them. <laughs> okay, well, the, that's definitely going to be repeated then. And all we need to do is just get the information so that we can get out there and get started on it again. Definitely. Yeah. And so, Bill, there wasn't any real problem with putting the trees in or taking them out. Oh, like no. That. Not at all. That worked well. Was it better without the anchor in it? Yeah. And they all stood up a, very yeah, straight. Yeah, just dug it a little deeper and Yeah, there wasn't. There. I don't think yeah. any of them even tipped this year. Well, only a couple one of them each. did, and I think it was when they were decorating. Oh, them, they pulled on them. And they didn't straighten them. Okay. But you could push those back. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Were all the decorations off on Friday? Or I, still got, I, still, I still got to do the rest of them. There's, okay. I don't know how many there are. There's um, one, I think, that's still decorated over by, uh, by the brick house. Oh, you know what? what? I bet I know who that is. He's been on his case tomorrow, Rotary. <laughs> I looked uh, like at that. Where is he? He's probably still like Christmas. I have a feeling. Okay, I'll find out. But, okay, so what about the dates for those? Was it okay having that extra week of keeping them decorated, or was that a problem for you? You know, we extended it last year. We had it a week earlier. Yeah, matter, yeah. Because actually, then you guys had a chance right after Christmas to take the big stuff down, yeah. the big tree and everything, yeah, yeah. and then you weren't. Well, eating. I still haven't got to all the rest. And of it doesn't matter. Yeah. I'm yeah. saying it actually doesn't. But we allow people to keep the decorations up for an extra week, um, which just because it, it looked nice and people still liked it. Well, when I found out that I wasn't allowed to throw them, throw the tree and the decorations away, <laughs> oh. I decided. To let them have as much time as they can. <laughs> oh, so who? I mean, Some of them wanted to ask if they could leave their decorations on. Forever? Yeah, they didn't want to take their decorations. They just wanted us to throw it away. Oh, oh. So, why we have on our form that? that they have to take it? They need. I think it was decorations but need to be removed here's by January thing, we can't, 10th. Yeah, we can't take anything out to where we have them recycled. Yeah. Of course no. not. Yeah. No, they need to take their decorations. Yes, well, I actually there. think that we had in here that they needed to take them off. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we don't want to get too weird, but. Yeah. Decorations need to be removed no later than January 10th. 
maybe put please remove your deck like make it clear that you want people to remove them themselves. I mean, I know it sounds like they should, but no, it's a good. I think it's a good suggestion. Yeah, you will be fine. You will never be allowed to. <laughs> <laughs> There's a code against that. <laughs> okay, so that's yeah. that's what we'll do. We'll work on that. Um, we will be working on a new type of event to replace the hayride. Um, and I, Bobby's idea about some kind of cart is probably quite doable. If we can get some donated or um, advertised for somebody and just pay for gas. Because we do have money for fuel. Um, and how was the pet parade? I, I missed it. Can we change the route some? Because people got really confused with the coming back going up the street and then coming back down. Yes. Now, speak up. Just tell us what we need to Maybe do. Maybe if we can just go around the building instead of okay. going up the light and then back down, just come around the building. That was street. that street totally. Yeah, it was. On so that's where the track is. Let's get that. Yeah, thank you. Yep, yep. Let's get these out real quick. So, yes, let's uh, work on routes. And, you know, I'd love to work on them. Okay, so we actually. So here's the drive through right here. Yeah. Um, did you? I'm not sure. So we that. actually went up this way. Oh, did and you? Went back down. Oh, okay. And that was the. And that didn't work very well. No, so if we could just maybe come around and then back to Key Bank. Okay, do is you that think that that's too, do you too mean long? On the same mm -hmm. street? Well, that's what happened. We ended up going up Bay Street and then back down Bay Street. Okay, and that's what they always did. And it was so confusing. Yeah, and you know what? The police wouldn't like that, would they? Um, what we haven't worked out with the police yet is mm -hmm. if the traffic has to come down here, then they won't want the pets to be on the street. But if you could just have them on the sidewalk. Yeah. Is the sidewalk wide enough? The sidewalk them? was full of people. Yeah, okay. actually... Yeah. We used to just go on one side and then come around and come down. That didn't work. Mm -hmm. The street's not wide enough. No, I, and I think the problem is we had like three times what we've had in the past this An year. Elephant? Yeah. Are you kidding? We had no. We had a ton of people this year, and so people were bumping into yeah. each other, and it just got super confusing. And the um, the ladies that were running the event didn't know where they were going and kind of, yeah, it got a little weird. Well, we've always we've done it before that way, but maybe we didn't have that many people. You we need a good that, organizer. We haven't had, like, yeah, we haven't had that many pets before. Do you know the number of pets that I we can have? send it to you. Okay. I want to say it was like 60. Oh, my God. Yeah, I think we used to have like 20. Yes, it used to be much less than that. Okay, so that needs to be rethought. Yeah. Well, that street going down, that's a tractor. Josephine's in the back. I'm glad you don't drive either because we're doing the same thing. We're like, and then this go around. So, would it be something that you could actually? Go down Frederick. Do you think with the pet parade? Mm -hmm. So you'd go around the block, through the parking lot here, down Frederick, and around like in this circle here. If we didn't have, but if we've got vehicles going in there, then that that could be a problem, right? Well, we just go along the the buildings, right? I mean, so that would that would be fine. And it would actually ease a lot of the other confusion we had with um, giving out prizes because we didn't know if they should go to the tree first, if they should come to us and get the announcement first. And so it, towards the end, it got kind of...
kind of wonky. Okay, so we really need to work on the details of the peppering. Yeah. Let's get that yeah. firmed up, yeah. and over time, let's maybe you could come up with something that you think would be a, a good suggestion. Then we'll we'll vet it with public works and the police. Okay. Um, and our plans for some other sort of little event like the carts or something, because we're going to have to work on this. Mm -hmm. So you're already going to close lots two and three, or one and two next year, I mean, in comparison to three and four, which we used to do. So it's really dependent on what, we're, which lots we're closing. I have a feeling <clears throat> what we're going to do with the Santa sleigh is that we'll keep it in this area here. Okay. Um, we'll talk to, I wish Kathy Garcia were here. Was here. Yeah. I'll talk to Kathy about how well that worked out for parking. Do we know if we had to tow any vehicles? Did anyone hear? I don't think, I don't think, they they I don't think so. I if they did, that. they just move them anyways to another lot. Okay. So. Well, we had a we had a problem, and that's where we need a couple volunteers. If we're going to do the very same thing. Yes. Cars were going into onto Sydney by the library. Yeah. And they're stuck. No, we'll have to close it northbound. Yeah, we're going to close. To go towards the library. Because yes. lot mm -hmm. one and two were closed, and the other way is a uh, wrong way. Yeah, so so they have to turn around, or they went into lot two. So we yeah. had problems with traffic. Yeah. So it should be an exit there. only coming out of the library in lots three and four. Yeah. If we have to have that open. Now, if the police said that was a real problem, and we kind of. Transit. Of, yeah, transit needed to get through there. But what if we changed. If transit. No, there's no other way they can get through either, mm -hmm. is there at all? And many, anybody that parks in lots three and four have to go that way to go. To question go left. I have. Question, guys. If I talk to transit, I kind of sit next to someone who's involved. Um, if transit were to come in here, and people just for the event were uh, there was just reader board that said you know transit would be over here. So that transit could actually go through this parking lot and come back out here. The only problem is they can't take a right out of there. Left. I, I mean, they can't go left. But you know, we've yeah. done in the past for special events. We've actually done that a left out only at times. We did that for Cedar Cove days. We've done it for some of the big car events in the past. Mm. I don't know if the new police chief would be open to that. But you know, yeah, that'd be his decision, probably. Yeah, I'm sure it would. But if you have everything else with no traffic in there, you're not going to need the staff in the middle the way that we had. <coughs> I mean, as long as traffic is completely out except for the exterior, then I would think traffic management would be a whole lot easier. You know what I mean? No traffic in here at all. You would not, there would be no traffic allowed from the library. The, the back of the library is closest any traffic could get in or out. Although, we ran into merchants needing to get, you know. Well, well, and that was one thing I was going to ask too, is if we could have like a pass or something that people who are allowed to park in that area could show to the police. We had a couple of my volunteers who were told they couldn't park, and they said, well, we're with Woodside, and they were told, don't care. So who told them that? What the police officer. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. Traffic. <laughs> Traffic is tricky. I don't yeah. know how we're going to get around it. I think any cars going there, in there at all, are a problem for all of us during the event. What I understand, though, is that the people have businesses and they need pickups and all kinds of things. Well, I didn't. I closed my parking lot, or I gave it to people who needed parking, like in the back there, and couldn't get in. My parking lot was full, but I didn't really see them go. Were they going in and out? I told them not to go in and out. If they parked there, they okay. stayed there until it was over. We'll work with Popsa and find out about how crucial it is to have any kind of parking in there. Or, once people are in there, could the cars just stay? If, you know, if you've got an employee that's there for the whole day, mm -hmm. hey, who well, cares? Well, that's what I do with my employee. That's just leave them there. You and just say he can't be moved until after the Santa comes in the, the end of it. Seven o'clock or eight o'clock and then eight o'clock. So we've got some buzz to work out. Yeah. Um, if there was, there was any the buses, way, you're still going to leave them 
here somewhere, right? Somewhere the, near the dock. Well, but I would have to, I'm just, this is just a crazy idea that maybe if they just had people walk the short distance along the library here, okay. instead of being picked up by the buses here, if the buses could just pick up everyone over in here, come through this back part of this parking lot, come right out Harrison again, so we wouldn't have to intermingle traffic on this street gotcha. and close the street completely, here anyway. We'd probably have to at least close off that one strip of parking by the library so the cops or the buses can because sometimes there's more than one. Yeah, I, well, there's usually like three or four, right? Yeah. I've seen them. Yeah. And they wouldn't, they wouldn't come all the way through. They would actually it's, it's going to be what transit and yeah, I think an act of Congress yeah. is not going to let so. you do that. Okay, so it's, that's where we start yeah. is with transit, right? Yeah. Yeah. Don't you know one of the transit guys? I, I do, and that's what I'm saying. I don't know this is going to be the problem you think it is. Okay, so we're going to start with transit and see if we can get cars out of their completely car movement because that caused confusion. Yeah. But I do think that having the event more in the center was really good. Moving. I only heard good things about that. And you liked that too. Yeah. That was good. It kept more people together. Yeah. Um, I heard there were long lines for the chili. Well, I think it was anything free. I yeah, well, and but uh, more participation for Santa and all of that. So that worked. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, Anything else um, that needs to be brought up? Um, oh, what I was talking about with lights, Bill, spotlights. Spotlights from up onto City Hall stage. Oh. We for sure have to have more lighting. Yeah, we had some work lights, but... Those LEDs are so dim. Yeah, well, they're, uh, no, they're actually Whatever pretty they are. bright. Well, they're, yeah, but you know, LEDs I mean, are we didn't, we had them, but we didn't use them, that's what I'm saying. Oh, so we had them, but we didn't if, use them? If we had used them, then you would have oh. noticed them. Okay, well, we need more lighting up there. Okay. Does everybody? We have shop lights. Yeah. Or... Okay, yeah, the stage needs to be lit, and um, we need to have more lighting coming up, I don't know, for everybody to see. Sure. Otherwise, you know, the coverings and everything, I think those work really well. Yeah. Really okay. well. Um, the, the tents. What? Okay, so, you guys, if Jingle Bell Run isn't going to be here next year, then we won't have the tent across the street. Right? We were sharing that expense with them. Oh. Janine, can you find out what that would cost for us to rent that all by ourselves? Thank you. Because you might have some kind of run. Right, and maybe. To maybe split the cost of that. Yeah. Okay. But, you know, I think that's a pretty important thing for people to have, don't you? We have pretty decent weather, all in all. Mm -hmm. When it's really rainy and stuff. And the pets were okay. Oh yeah, yeah. No one, no pet shivered in hypothermia or anything like that. No, but we're kind of. I mean, we're good at saying, "Oh, looks like Fluffy's could go in the car for a little <laughs> bit." I mean, you know, Fluffy looks a little blue. Yeah, most okay. people are good. So, <coughs> what side is going to take on Pepperite again? Oh yeah, we actually had a lot of fun this year. A lot of fun this year. Well, this was like our favorite. So great fun. crowd. Yeah. Wow, awesome. Well, and the whole team was involved this time. Okay. Historically, it's been one person, and this so, time the entire hospital was involved. So, wow. They had a blast. So, really, what needs to be done is just a bit more definition of the route mm -hmm. and procedures. Right. And getting that information out to people earlier. Um, I saw you had some pretty nice little connect on your, the website. So we had the connect or do you all did great. Oh well, yeah. Jenny yeah. really did a good job. Yeah. Getting Thank information you. up yeah. early, fast. Yep. Um, we'll do more of that. Definitely. Keep yep. steering people to the website because that's such a good way to get information out. So do you have any pictures of the pet parade I'm, that we can post? I'm, I do. I can okay. get some more, but yes, I'll send them to Perfect. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, we'll need some. Nice. Yeah. And we'll probably get going on uh, our flyer again pretty early. Um, did we, Brad Page, did he help? Mm -hmm. Go? Was there anybody on the list that, that shouldn't be on there? I know our Arthritis Foundation will go away now. Um, Cookies, Pet Corner, did they yeah, help? They yeah. Yeah. Dance yeah. Gallery, well, I'll double check. Uh, Fathoms, Graphic Reflections, da da da. Tractor Clips going away. Um, Okay, I think that'll be 
pretty straightforward then. All right, anything to add? Uh, I have one thing on the countdown. Or we didn't oh, know. that was a so disaster. How do we want to coordinate that in the future now that the, the system's on a world clock? Yes. So mm -hmm. it, it's going to play it regardless if seconds. you're on five of the countdown or three. So. <laughs> I know, but the, the stopwatch 20 thing was 20 seconds off, so we mm -hmm. didn't even have a countdown. So you know what? The truth is you guys should start the countdown somehow with some kind of noise or something. Okay. We should have something happen at the probably 10 second. Okay. 10, 9, that's about, that's probably plenty of counting down. Mm -hmm. yeah. So let's coordinate, is it going to be Mike? Yeah. Okay, let's have Mike, we'll have some kind of a thing, whether it be a whistle or a ho-ho or something. <laughs> Start the, the <laughs> ten night because yeah. you know what when you get down there and all of that's going on and the lighting etc. You know, I was holding my flashlight here and my thing here. You know we are all holding so much stuff yeah. and there's so much going on and the you know just about that time the puppy crawls up in the front and we had so much activity. So so do you want the lights to go on in the beginning of you know the chime or the song? Because it, it dongs first, and then it plays the song. Yeah. If the light should go on. The light should go on right at the one zero ninety eight. you know, okay. right there. That's when the light should go on. And the chimes start right then, too. Yeah, it does the one, I think, on oh, the, yeah, that the half hour, it does one chime. Um, and then, yeah, and then it starts to play. Yeah, because if there's a pause... That's, I mean, as far as no lights on. So right at zero. Right at zero. Okay. And then we, no one hears that the chimes start just a little bit later. Yeah. In fact, that's cool. Okay. That's really cool. And that was really nice. I mean, it actually worked out this year. I mean, everything came on at the same time, even though it really I wasn't know. No one knew. So. <laughs> We're all going, oh! Yeah. <laughs> it was the first year we you know, did this. Yeah. He's, he's like, I'm, gonna sit, I'm just going, you know, just follow up. <laughs> like this, he puts his hand down and nothing. <laughs> okay, put it up again. You know? Good old John. He's like, oh man, don't worry, it's all going to work somehow, some way. No one knows or cares. <laughs> but yeah, let's have Mike give the, the warning somehow. And we might even have a shout out with 10. Maybe we can find something that's programmed that just says 10. Actually, well, why not have the whole countdown being? Yeah, the clock on your phone actually, uh, it's but I'm saying, right to the second. So. Why don't we actually have the countdown coming from the clock tower? The 10, 9, it could be Yeah, recorded. actually, I think he does have a, a countdown. Yeah. That would be the best. Yeah. You guys have the time. Well, yeah, let me talk to Mike. Because we're it's down it's here. Ability. It's not that easy. Everyone knows. You're all down here, and we're yeah. all down here just coordinating so many things. Yeah. And you think you have it, and then one little thing, and then... Okay. The year I did yeah. it seemed okay. What, what happened? How did we do that? Well, you're, the chimes, we, used to be, we used to be able to just push The play. chimes worked. Oh. Uh, the chimes used to work. Oh, now yes. we don't have, we have actually programmed in the, the, the yeah. gong gong, we, we don't really have chime music. No. We found some actually on the internet, we had to pay for it, but it was, it's very hard to find chime music, um, and there's a lot of rules about yeah, there's what copyright laws. Oh, that, so. Yeah, so we actually did find some, it was just coordinating it, but it's a lot of moving pieces until we get our new system in place for the music. Yeah. yeah. But we have a lot of capability, but we could definitely do a countdown from the yeah. clock tower, which I think we should do. I think he actually has a microphone that he can do mm -hmm. it, so. Yeah, so that's what we'll do. Okay. Then that way, everyone will know. Yeah. <laughs> it's a tree lighter, you know, we're down there. It's a I big know. guess, isn't it? Yeah, I, was, <laughs> I think you guys started fun, singing, though. and I was like, man, there's only like 10 seconds left, and they just started a song. I know, <laughs> I know. And, and then this soloist gets up to sing, and I go, no, yeah, no yeah. soloist. I'm practically yanking the soloist back, you know. But you see the facade. No verses. <laughs> yes. It's, oh, 
<laughs> you never know. It's a little tricky. But yes, that will help. Okay. Then we can, even if we're in the middle of something, you know, we can just taper off. Yeah. And, yeah. Okay. Good. Uh, Christmas tree disposals on here. Is that on here because do we need to pay for it or because of the lice being on the trees kind of thing? Bill had no. brought that up to me. Uh, so. We do take it out to shear. Yeah, we'll have to look at that invoice and associate it into the cost of what they're paying for the trees. That way we're not out, out anything. I think, I think, I turned the invoices in already, but if I remember yeah, right, we'll have to pull that up, yeah. it was like disposal cost. Forty bucks. Forty dollars. Well, About that's not for all of them. Guessing. Yeah, I'm just guessing, and it's not for all of them. Oh. It it goes by the. Uh, she asked. I took a five yard truck out there. She asked me how many yards were in the truck. Oh, but it's not fair for just to measure trees because they're not fluffed down. Right. So she we estimated there's only two yards. Okay. So that's how they that's how they do business. They do by the yard, not by the. Okay, so you trees. think, uh, gauging from the 40 that's been taken, that we would need to spend another 40 or 50? Let's find out for sure. Okay. And then... So, uh, I mean, maybe $100-ish is what we're talking about for disposal of our 58 trees? It could be, yeah. Okay. But we'll find out for sure because... Okay. I wonder if there's any place that takes these trees just for mulching that would want them. I don't know, but... Are you taking them out to water? Sure. Mason fiber? No, sure. Okay. Usually they only charge us, like if I take brush out there in the summertime, uh -huh. uh, it's only $25 a truckload. Oh, really? For a small dump truck, not a big dump truck. Okay. But with the trees, I think they do something different with them. Okay. I don't know why. All right, so we've got a, that has to be figured into the cost of our trees, the disposal and the purchase is what we're working on. Okay. Well, we'll get that so we'll know how to price them. Okay. Um, and the tree decorating contest we had on here, well, we've been basically talking about it. Um, it I think the judge panel put a tremendous amount of work into it. They had <coughs> criteria, and I'm just going, oh, my goodness, how long is this going to take? You know, because <laughs> they were very thorough. Um, but I think that worked. I think, um, you know, I, I didn't get any complaints this year. I didn't hear any either. So I think having um, you know judges and with criteria. Um, if you think of any other categories, that might be interesting. If we want to change our categories, but this I, worked pretty well. One of them, somebody <laughs> said to me, it might be a nice idea if you had like a big ribbon or something that you could put, actually put on the. How many trees one prizes? Oh, I see. Because Just, as people walk around afterwards, they kept saying, "Well, where's the where's uh, the first oh, place?" Oh, okay. They, and I so it just would be a easy gold to, bow or something. Yeah, yeah okay. something that said, you know, <coughs> we can easily do that. Yeah, mark the prize trees, <laughs> and it I would be. be <laughs> it didn't make people want sure. to. Get a tree, you know, yeah, you yeah. can do a better job decorating it. Yeah, because we know. do actually have the prize as well. You know, we were donating them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't even know. just a to little, I didn't have to be gigantic. Yeah, yeah. Just for I'm a second, third. Mm -hmm. I heard that two or three times. Who won the People's Choice? Do you know? I, yes, I do, and it's left me. It was okay. the alien tree, probably. Yeah, <laughs> they took it away. I don't know what to say. No, I think it was the ice cream lady. The, the ice cream tree? I think. They, it, what, did they put a lot into that tree? Yeah, I, I want to say that. Don't quote me on okay, that. Okay, yeah, they did win a prize, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll have to find out for sure, but... I'm pretty sure that's Because we can actually put that on the website, too. We want to people's choice. Corrine would know that. Okay. I mean, it was at her okay. place. Good. Um, anything else anyone wants to add? Question, are we still going to be able to use the fire pits this year? Uh, you did use the volunteer wants to man on that, but last okay. year he didn't want to do it. Okay. So we didn't have a No. Okay. That's the only reason we didn't Because of the volunteer? Well, he was there, but he didn't want to know. Really? We, okay. 
New volunteer needed for fire pits. <laughs> this is like three years in a row. Okay, yeah. Uh, the next meeting will be We switched ours this time to a little bit earlier. I think we usually are doing well, the third Monday. Well, the time was Martin Luther King. Yes, and that's why we switched it. Yeah. So, but are we going to have the same problem with? Yes. We yeah, are. We're close to President's Day next month. We are. Yep. Alrighty. So, can everybody make it on? Oh, I'm not going to be here. Okay, get back then. We're going to have to probably go late. How about February 24th? Can everyone make it on that? that I'm going to have to double check. I may not be here, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. Yeah, and I'll check my calendar too. Okay. Bill, Bill will be here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That, that's the Monday I will be here. Oh, you so will be? for me, that works. Oh, wonderful. Let's, okay, February 24th. Then we'll go back to our every third kind of thing. Okay, great. So, meanwhile, we'll check into, again, um, the price on the trees, the price on the disposal, so that we can start uh, letting people know how much it's going to cost this year and open that up early. But we should also send out an email or... A notice to all the people who participated this year, and we'll do a thank you kind of thing again, and say that people can start reserving any time that you staff are really handle can handle it. Sounds good. Okay, yep. I'll get together with Brandy and Michelle and yes, start okay. talking about this. Did the dance studio do something? Yes, they did, and I, you know what, I I didn't get to see it, and, and I, I didn't want hear, it. and I'll they talk to them about room. it. Thank you. See if they're the dance studio. She wanted, I know they wanted to do something outside. Yeah, they kicked out of her, yeah. We didn't have the stage. <laughs> right. That would be a, a real big change for us to try to take that on. Yeah. Um, so, I don't think we can do it. But um, if anyone has any ideas about carts or anything like that, be thinking and we'll yeah. start making a few calls. But maybe we can contact um, golf courses or somebody. Okay. All right, I think we're done.